Hi everyone, Cold Chance at Yoga TX. And just wanted to do a short little flow here, kind of focusing on some balance and activating our core strength, which we need in everything, but we actually are kind of lax about. I always have to remind myself to engage, engage, engage. So we'll do a few things today that will help you consciously remember and things that are necessary for these poses. So it's a good little flow to find some consciousness and core activation. So let's go ahead and start actually standing and hips over about, feet about hips width apart here. We'll take our arms up, grab your right wrist, grab your left wrist with the right hand, and we'll start to shift over to the right. So here right away, you feel that you must use your core to stand. One more inhale. And lift, shaking is good. Always shake during this. Inhale, pull up on your right hand and shift to the left. Take three breaths. And come back up. Go ahead and release that and shake that out. Let's go ahead and turn to the front. We'll step to the top of the mat. And we're going to take eagle pose. So for eagle, let's go ahead, let's start on our right leg. So let's activate our right leg. We don't want our left or right hip to come out, and that happens a lot whenever you're wanting to stand on one leg like this. But we're wanting to stand on one leg with that straight. So think about that while we do this. So we're putting the weight in our right leg. Our hip is staying, we're staying tall, staying aligned. So pick up your left knee, and we'll start to bring it around. So it's like you're just sitting cross-legged. You can wrap your leg around twice if you'd like, or you can leave it just one time, or just, yeah, just cross it over, wherever you are. So we're here. Now with our arms, bring your arms wide. Really activate your core here. I don't think I had it quite there. Really bring your belly in towards your spine. Arms out. Our right arm is gonna come on top, our left arm is gonna come down. So we're twisted, top and bottom. And actually, counterintuitively, the lower you go, the more stabilization that you'll have. It'll be easier. So we're here. Our core is activated, tight. One more inhale. Slowly start to unwind your legs. We're going to shift forward into warrior three. Stay strong in your standing leg. Core activated. Slowly start to bend your front leg. That, prob that possibly and probably did not happen with grace, and that's fine. The reason that we're shaking is we're building those muscles. Bring your arms up here. So you can get a, create a little arch. Unwind your arms. We'll come into airplane arms. So we're in a high lunge. You can shift your feet around now in case your lunge wasn't go far, didn't go far enough back. Bring your core in. We're shifting forward. Inhale, we're lifting. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, lift. Go ahead and drop your hands here. Straighten your front leg to pyramid pose. Again, keep your core in here. Everything we're wanting to engage. You can, by engaging your core, you can lengthen farther, fold deeper. Come down. One more time, inhale. And exhale down. Let's plant our left hand. Spin all 10 toes to the right, keeping your hips up high. And we'll open up. Again here, to lift your hips, everything is tight around your core. Come back to center. We're going to take a big step up. 
We're gonna bring our left leg up and go back into eagle. So go slow, go mindfully, and really think about engaging. So we bend, we come up. Left leg is up, comes back around, I'm shaking. Right arm over, so it's opposite arm and leg that are over. One breath. Exhale, slowly unwind, and drop. Good. Shake your hips out. You can fold forward here. Bend deep into one knee and then the other. You can really get into your hips. Good, we'll take that on the other side. This is a tough sequence. This is a challenge, so challenge yourself. And don't, don't be discouraged at all. Just challenge yourself, it's fun. It's just yoga. So let's do it on the other side. Strengthen, lift, first lift up. Feel tall, feel really tall. Now start scanning down your body. Engage your core, engage your legs, pull your kneecap up. Start to lift your right leg. So watch for your hip coming out. We don't want that, it just sinks everything. We want big and expansive. So bring that right knee over. Find where you can place it today. It, might, it may not look like this. Hands out. Every time you feel like you're shaking and more, less stable, check back in with your core. Pull up on your pelvic floor. I'm talking here. Okay, so. Right arm, left arm over. Falling is good, because you just have to get back in there. Arms up, core engaged. One more breath. Slowly unwind. Start to kick your left leg back. Find a gazing point. And don't breathe very loud so you don't fall over. Slowly bend your front leg. That was a joke, breathe. And come back. Take a slight bend here. Open up into airplane arms. Shift your feet around here if you need to be a little bit wider or a little bit longer. But we'll come into airplane here. Core coming back. Inhale, up. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right hand to the ground. 10 toes to the left, keep your hips high. Push the ground away and we'll spin open. Come back to center. So again, we're gonna kick back up into eagle. So we come up slowly. We bring our leg up. We cross. We start to sit down. Left arm over, right arm under. One inhale. Exhale, start to release. And we come down, beautiful. Hips again. Bend into one, bend into the other. Good. Bring your legs back together. Let's plant our hands, step back into plank pose. Shift forward, come all the way down to the ground. All right, we're gonna do Come into Sphinx. So arms parallel. Elbows under shoulders. Hands coming straight out from your elbows. So this is where we are. Hands are wide. We're going to tuck our toes. We're going to inhale. 
lift our knees, and we're gonna come up into forearm plank. So we're gonna inhale into forearm plank. Shoulders come, instead of coming up, they come onto your back. And we'll hold three, two, one, release. Bring your chest forward. Stretch your abdominals out here. Good. Tuck your toes and lift your kneecaps. We'll come back up into forearm plank. Settle in three, two, one, and release. Roll forward. Feel like you're dragging your, your arms backwards to push yourself through. And reach up with your chest, broaden your chest, stretch your abdominals. One last time. Tuck your toes, pull up on your kneecaps. Forearm plank. Three, two, one, and release. And come through. Go ahead and push back into child's pose here. And kind of shift side to side. No pose ever necessarily needs to be static. So in any of these, especially these resting poses, feel free to make movements and explore what feels good to you. There may be something just like an inch away from something you're used to doing that feels so much better. So just kind of play around and see what you can find. Good, we're gonna come back up. We're gonna take um, a couple side planks. This there's a couple variations, and I'll show you both of those, but this is a really good for obliques. So let's come into plank. I'll show you the modified version first. So we'll come into plank. So you can check your plank. You know, you're in your down dog. You should be able to shift forward into plank with your shoulders over your, your wrist. This should be good. I'm good judge here. So what we're gonna do is bring your feet together. Shoulders are on your back, so we're straight, we're solid, our, our core is activated and in. Drop your right knee, shift your left heel to the ground. We're gonna put our weight in our right arm. And we're gonna come up. And look up at your top hand here. So can you feel everything lit up? Good, and release. Come back into plank, and we'll take that on the other side, and then I'll show you the full version. So we'll drop our left knee, spin our right heel to the ground, weight in our left arm, open, and twist to the sky. And core is just not your belly. Core is this whole area here. So really, this is really activating my back body as well. Everything works together. Come back to plank. So in full plank, we'll shift both of our heels. So one leg on top of the other one, both of our heels to the right, and we'll open up to the left. Hips are going up towards the sky. Hand is under the shoulder. Come back to plank. We'll take the other side. So hips go over. I mean, heels go over, sorry. Hips stay high. Push the ground away. And breathe. Go ahead and come back 
to center. Go and bring your knees down, push back. So either one of those is good to do, and you can do those, you know, several sets of those, and those are just wonderful. It works a different, a different part of your core and also the back body really well. Let's go ahead and walk your hands out and fold forward. Back into downward dog. Right leg up. Keep your hips square so we don't want to open up here. We're just right. Hips or sacrum should be flat. So we'll come forward. Bring your chest to your knee. Your knee to your chest would be more accurate. We'll push back. Tripod down dog. Knee to chest, tripod down dog. Knee to chest, step your foot through. We're gonna take a big step up into Ardha Chandrasana. So we're gonna take our right hand a little bit to the right and a little bit forward of your right foot here. We're gonna take a big, if you need to step in, how about we just all step in here? Let's step in about a foot and we'll go from here. Be easier way to get into it. So we're gonna put our weight in this hand and we're gonna come, take a bend in your left knee. Come up, kick up. And open on the left. So my left toes are coming in towards me. My left hip is open. My shoulder is coming up towards the sky. This will take some practice to get into. This is just a challenge. Go ahead, drop your hand. Square your hips to the ground. Leave your, stand, leave your left leg up. Walk your hands back. Take standing splits. Your leg wants to be, needs to be square. We were open, now we're closed. So it will come down. Halfway lift. And fold again. Big step back, drop your heel. Plant your hands. Set back down dog. And we'll do that on the other side. And be patient with yourself. These are really hard. These are, can be really difficult postures. And it's all about the way that you gain the muscle to do these postures is by doing them and falling out of them. So that's, just, just know that that's, it's all part of the process. It's messy. Left leg up, hips are square, not open. Hips are square, sacrum's flat. Bring your knee to your chest. Inhale, exhale, knee to chest. Activate your core. Inhale. Knee to chest. Plant your foot. We're gonna take Ardha Chandrasana, which is half moon, on this side. So plant your hand. You can bring your back heel, your back foot in. So we're gonna open, we're gonna come up, straighten your front leg. You can leave both hands down to get started here. Start to open your right hip. You can leave both hands down the whole time, actually. If you'd like to start to try to open. Both legs are active. Both kneecaps are lifted. My foot, my toes on my top leg are coming back at me. Everything is activated here. My back body, my front body. Drop both hands and square your hips towards the ground. Walk your hands back. Bring your chest in towards your knee. My sacrum should be flat again. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. 
Go ahead and bring your right leg to meet the left leg. Shift into weight in one leg, weight in the other leg. Shift out your hips again. Drop your neck, shake your head, yes and no. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, one last juicy forward fold. Bend your knees, rise all the way up and seal. Seal the practice. Thank you all. And like I said, please be patient with yourself on all of these, all of those little tiny muscles that you know, we don't use on a day-to-day -day that are required for these poses, slowly start building on top of each other. So just keep doing what you're doing and yeah, keep coming back to your mat. Thank you all. Cold Chance at Yoga TX. Think about visualizing that. Your shoulder blades coming together onto your back, chin up, sternum going towards the ceiling here. Exhale, we're gonna round. So bring your elbows together, tuck your chin, as you start to curl your back. This should light up the muscles going on either side of your spine here. So you can control the intensity. So if you need to come, not go as far, this can be intense. Inhale.